Let's see, we'll go and be sure to turn off USB storage before you do this. It actually won't let you. Uh, from here, I prefer to reboot into recovery and say OK. Now the phone will reboot and will take us into recovery mode. And we'll go to the next step. This takes just a second. Sorry for the long tutorial. I just prefer to do this exactly by the book and try to get as close to possible as a simple walkthrough for you guys. So you saw it flash clockwork recovery there. Reboot the phone again. And from here, it should go into the green menu for clockwork. Uh, actually, we're going to have to reinstall packages one time. And now it goes into the green menu for clockwork. We're going to tab down and say install zip from SD card. Let me see if I can zoom on this. Can't see it when it's highlighted. But, uh, and then we will go down one, choose zip from SD card. And we will go down to our Cognition 2.3 beta 6 zip file and click power. And as a preventative, it makes it really hard to get to for yes because it's, it is a big deal. Uh, anyways, go to yes and click power to select. At this point, we are beginning to flash our ROM. So we will do this and get back with you momentarily once we are done. This will completely finish and take us back to the clockwork recovery menu. I will restart the tutorial at that point. Okay, we are done flashing the ROM. Uh, we need to click up and go back. And then we will choose reboot system now. Now this is going to take us back into the AT&T menu, and this will be a brief pause. Um, you will begin to hear voices as well. These are the voodoo voices changing your file system for speed. So we'll wait for those. And there it goes. That is the Voodoo lag fix installing itself. So we will wait a moment. Uh, and this will take a second too. Uh, it'll go through and we will meet you once the system is fully loaded. So we'll see you at the next step. Okay, and once Cognition is up, we can unlock and go back into the market and go ahead and re-download Titanium Backup. Uh, by default this ROM is already in USB debugging mode uh, and as before I will simply sideload the Titanium Backup application. And I will go ahead and complete it as well. So I just installed Titanium Backup. Once that goes away, we're done with that. And at this time, on the phone, go ahead and remount. We're going to copy back uh, the raw files that we backed up. So looks a little different, but when you click mount, go ahead and click connect to storage. And... We will 
Go ahead and copy all those. To our internal SD card. Go ahead and overwrite the DCIM folder when it asks. Uh, there's nothing in it, so it's completely acceptable to do that. This is going to take a short amount of time. We're looking at about four minutes, so we will catch up with you when this is complete. Okay, so once we have gotten all of the raw files transferred back, go ahead and unlock the phone, turn off USB storage, say home, go into your applications, and find Titanium Backup that you installed via App Store. This is where it pays off to have the paid for version, otherwise you get to click OK and done after every single app. but anyways this is why you do it click backup and restore at the top middle tab then click settings click batch then go down and restore all apps with data it'll load them and say run batch operation this will take about as long as it did to back them up so I'll catch you when we're done with this Okay, once we finish the batch restore, all apps plus user data, uh, you'll notice that tons of your stuff will already be back. You may still be noticing that not all of it seems to be back. Uh, that's because we still need to do a system reboot. So go ahead and hold the power button down and choose reboot. Uh, Design Gears has put all these nice options in for us, so we'll choose reboot and we'll be back in about two minutes after we are fully back up and all media scanning is complete okay once your device reboots after the restore uh, we can unlock and we'll notice that if you are using a custom launcher uh, that launcher will be back up with all of its user configuration uh, we were using TouchWiz so the uh, items didn't carry over to the new version but uh, we quickly added widgets and uh, shortcuts to all our things in our apps. We can see that all the apps are now back, so that's good. Uh, we'll notice other things such as all of our contacts are now back. Uh, messaging, all of our text messages are back. Uh, email is still set up. We go to our accounts and sync. We'll notice that all the accounts are still set up. A um, couple other things, calendars, good to go. And then if we go into something app specific, uh, such as Sports Center, we'll notice that our My Teams uh, are up. Um, these wouldn't be here if it didn't work correctly. That confirms that all apps plus system data have been restored at this time. Um, keep an eye on anything unusual. If you see something unusual, you may want to restart the process and be more specific in your uh, restore apps. Instead of restoring all, maybe uh, restore specific apps you know you need. Maybe don't restore absolutely everything because that can cause problems. Uh, in most cases, it doesn't, uh, such as this one. But um, at this point, that is how to flash a Cognition ROM to a stock phone using a stock ROM um, tutorial uh, using the Odin one click download master clear ROM manager method. If you have any questions, just post up in the thread. Um, all the members will be happy to assist you. And this is just my way of saying thanks to Design Gears and the entire development team, as well as XDADevelopers.com, for continuously providing support for these devices and all the other devices that I've ever had. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, look forward to new releases in the future. Good luck, guys.